1953 Lorelei Boats. It was created by James L. Crook, uh, George Sedita in a third person. Uh, James Crook uh, designed and applied for patent in 1947. It was issued this patent for uh, this boat in 1950 in East Aurora, New York, near Buffalo. Incorporated uh, a number of things into this. It's a, a cabin boat. Um, there's a tunnel drive on the rear of it where um, the outboard motor resides. Uh, up in there, it comes with a, a 25 horsepower 1953. Evan Rood, and that goes down in this compartment. Uh, has a uh, stand up helm, Evan Rood controls. Uh, top is a rubberized canvas. The trailer is built in on this boat. It is uh, up here. Our doors and the wheels are in. Right now it's sitting on its own trailer for transportation. 16 feet long, 6 feet wide, galvanized steel construction. It is its own trailer and boat. It has a trailer hitch on the front of the boat. Like I say, the wheels are retractable, goes up into it, into the hull, and it closes off for. Uh, use on the lake. The front windows open for ventilation and inside it has a cot with the original mattress, uh, red and green. It has red plastic curtains that are original with the boat. This boat has been in storage since 1961 when the owner died. His wife and eight-year-old son at the time <coughs> put the boat in the garage and it sat there until October 2017 where we bought it. Now construction is a lot like an airplane. It's uh, riveted, uh, pressed form galvanized steel. Again, this is all original. This is as it came out of the garage after 57 years. Uh, the window surrounds are pressed steel. There's Venetian blinds on the two larger windows. <coughs> Excuse me. The hardware is uh, out of Wilcox Crittenden um, parts catalog that were real popular in the 50s and 60s if you're er, an older if you built boats. The engine goes in here, the gas tank goes over in there, steering uh, goes back through. There's like looks like a Perco light on that and one on the bow. There's six volt. And this boat comes with uh, <coughs> a treasure chest. It's a um, three foot by four foot wooden box with all the peripheral items that were uh, current at the time in the 50s. A case of Texco motor oil, a case of cork life vests, and on and on. You can see them in the photos and on the YouTubes on video. The YouTube video is at uh, 1953 Mystery Girl steel cabin cruiser. We've put a bunch of videos up there. So if you want something uniquely different, they supposedly, uh, Jim James Crook only built about 10 of these. We have no information other than uh, the little bit I have on it. So um, you could own a piece of history here.